Hello everybody, it's Baldrick here, and in today's show, I am going to be talking about my thoughts on people calling Battlefield 4 an unfinished game and getting pissed off about it. Well, I'll give you my opinion. Uh, I myself, I do sort of enjoy playing, I'd say, unfinished games. I'm very tolerant to unfinished games, and I have even started participation with the DayZ Alpha because I just want to get my hands on that game as soon as possible. And that's what I did for Battlefield 4 as well. I played the open beta and the exclusive beta. I even pre-ordered it just for the exclusive beta because I just wanted to get my hands on it. And in the beta, to be honest, uh, for me personally, uh, it runs exactly the same as the full game. Like, the occasional crash here and there. It's not too bad. It might give me a crash every few games. If I was live streaming with my internet that should be installed now, uh, it could be a problem, but it's not really that bad because it's really quick to find a new server. Anyway, uh, what do I think about the people calling this game crap and unfinished? Do I think they are just very intolerant? Uh, I know EA should have done a better job at beta testing this game and maybe just getting rid of some of the big glitches, especially for PC. But I think people are getting a bit too, uh, uh, I'd say, emotional about it, because it's not really that big of a problem. It, nothing is made unplayable at the moment, unless you get some really bad glitch, and even then, all you have to do is quit the game and rejoin, and it's gone. So I don't really see what everybody is whining about. I have played a fair bit of this game. I'll just go right now and check how many hours I've spent on this awesome game. I'm like level 35 or something. I've spent 74 hours on Battlefield 4 altogether, including the beta and just the overall game. It is a solid game in my perspective. I don't see any real problems with it apart from the occasional glitch and crash. Now, what people really should be uh, worrying about isn't the actual uh, game crashing all the time. They need to worry about if they sell, because the only people who really get it on the game's release are the diehard fans. I'm not, I wouldn't really consider myself a diehard Battlefield fan, as I've only played Battlefield 3 on PC, obviously, and that was a good game, I've got to admit, I liked it a lot, so I got Battlefield 4, just due to playing Battlefield 3, and if I really wasn't a Battlefield fan, I probably never would have bought Battlefield 4, but I know there's a lot of people who want to give it a go, and if they get all this uh, negative uh, feedback from all the players, they're not going to want to buy it, and in reality, it's very playable, especially if you get it for console, it's very stable on console, uh, I wouldn't really recommend buying it for the 360 or PS3, it's playable on those, but you're getting really bad frame rates and resolutions with that, whereas if you get it for the PS4, you're definitely uh, buying into a more valuable game. And if you're getting it for PC, I sort of do warn you uh, to expect some crashes, but they're not too bad. I, As I said, I'm very tolerant towards uh, new games, and since Battlefield 4 hasn't been out for too long, they're obviously still trying to patch it. So EA hasn't completely screwed us over with this one. They've even said that they've uh, recognised their problems and they are trying their hardest to patch it. Then you get, uh, I'm going to uh, just pick out Call of Duty here. Then you get Call of Duty, right? Uh, they release a game each year, f uh, either from Treyarch or Infinity Ward. And I buy most of them, which I probably shouldn't. Anyway, uh, what they do, once their game has passed its yearly cycle, they just stop doing any more patches, and I think that is really annoying. And I guess that's sort of the same for Battlefield 3. But with Battlefield 3, uh, it lasted about two years, so they had enough time in that time span to basically get it working properly, by the, or near the end of its life cycle. As Call of Duty, it really never... Uh, finishes getting uh, fixed. It may get uh, stable uh, games, but it, there's so many bugs that I can like just think of that are really annoying, and so many hackers they need to get rid of, but it just makes some of the Call of Duty's unplayable. Whereas Battlefield 3, they've done a really good at 
a good job at fixing that game up over its long lifespan, and it's very playable to this day, although uh, if you can run Battlefield 3, most of you can probably run Battlefield 4. Anyway, uh, to my next point is that, just deal with it guys, it's not that bad. Uh, I can understand if it's really unplayable, then you've got a right to complain, but if it crashes, say, uh, maybe like once every five games or something, don't get pissed off with the developers, they're trying their hardest to uh, just fix the game, and I'm obviously not getting paid by EA to say this, because I've got no association with them at all, I'm not an EA fanboy either, so don't worry about that, I'm just saying to you guys, just take a chill pill I guess, and sort of just hope for the best for this awesome game that has come out. Anyway guys, see you later, uh, if you want to hear more of me or see more of my Battlefield 4 videos, just hit that subscribe button on my channel or give this video a like and subscribe as well. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, have a very nice day and get Battlefield 4 if you do not have it. That is a must guys, just save up your money for that game.